Hey everybody, it's the Sussex Rider and I'm back out on the, the smaller of the two bikes I've got and I'm in the glor glorious Sussex countryside and it may have got colder a little bit. It's not really winter yet but one thing I want to show you that I have bought for the first time in my life this year, bought it in about March this year, is a Machna heated jacket. So this is a heated jacket that you can wear on or off the bike and I'll show you exactly how it works and my goodness has it made a difference to my life. It's suddenly so much easier to ride in cold weather. You don't need hundreds of layers. I've literally got a t-shirt on underneath. I've got my uh, bell staff jacket obviously uh, and I've noticed that in the mornings when it's a little bit chillier than, than it was maybe a month ago or in the evenings it's made a massive difference. So how does it work? Well, there are two options. The first one is the battery option, just a single battery option that you can attach to your uh, jacket on the inside. Uh, let me try and show you that. So it gives you a po more portable option. And as I say, you can wear it uh, perhaps if you're walking the dogs or just go for a, a, an evening stroll. You've got a uh, some heat, heated jacket. So this is attached to the wire here, literally plug it in, put it back in its pocket. You've got buttons on the top of your jacket, you can just press it on or off and you can adjust the settings. I think there's four settings, so for really cold, um, you know, if it's really, really cold you can have it on the highest setting, but I have to say that's really hot, um, but I usually have it on about setting two or three out of the four settings. Uh, so that lasts about three and a half hours, and I think that's a good option. Gives you more flexibility, particularly when I when I hop between different bikes. So if I jump on the interceptor I, I, and it's cold, I can just you know simply use this one. Um, the other option is to hardwire it to the battery, and I have done that on this bike. And I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and show you how that works. So bear with me as I adjust the camera. Okay, so this is where the, uh, the battery is housed. So we're just going to undo that and I'll just show you exactly where it fits. Interestingly enough, the one great thing about this Enfield is you've got almost, you know, a really easy place to, to store it. I mean, I've got the wires here and you would simply attach that to the jacket. They're really long wires. I think they're like, you know, a meter and a half. So you've got plenty of plenty of wires, uh, plenty of space, and you can literally hop on and off the bike, no problem at all. And it's even got a, um, a dust cap so that you can protect the electricals. So uh, you can put that on. If you're not riding it, not using it like I wasn't a moment ago, just tuck it under the seat, no problem at all. It fits really nicely on, the, uh, on this bike, um, just because it, it fits under this frame, uh, metal cover, no problem at all. There's not sort of an issue with it. You can pull it in and out. You can see it's not cutting into the wire, causing any problems. So um, if you um, undo and do that, you've got your toolkit, of course, in here. You've got your battery and uh, some of the electrics here coming down. And it's all, there's actually, I think, a bit of space. So um, that's really nice to see because a lot of bikes I've ridden in the past, you have to dismantle the plastics and that takes forever. Got some walkers going past. Morning. Good morning. Sussex Downs walk. Yes. Beautiful. Enjoy. Enjoy. Done a bit myself. So you've got plenty of room down here, and you attach the the um, the cable to that. When you close it up, as I say, you've got plenty of room as well. That's nice and tight. Now let me put the camera back and show you how that attaches back here. There you should see that. So when I jump on the bike, it's really easy to connect this. Literally, that's it. Connect the two, do my jacket up. Now, obviously I'm not gonna put my helmet on and my jacket and ride it, but that's how easy it is. There's plenty of cable. You can literally 
put your leg over like that. If you've got too much excess, which I have got here now, I literally just bundle it up, tuck it under the seat. Classic 350 is a really nice um, sort of space underneath there. I've never had a problem. It's never blown out of there and any caused any, any problems at all. Sucks in nicely and uh, you don't even know it's there. If you wanted to, you could do it the other way. I've done that before from you know, different situations. Just bundle it up, stick it under your jacket and uh, off your ride. Um, I've never, as I say, had an issue with it. And equally, when I get off the bike, it's just a case of undoing that and off you go. So, you know, if you feel the cold, if you find yourself at times thinking, gosh, I really need another layer on, you can invest in one of these jackets. They're really, really good. I, I think there was less than, I think it was about 200 pounds, somewhere about that. Um, the four settings are great, literally lights up. I'll try and do it actually. I'll connect it and try and light it up. Um, so, there we go. I know you can't see that, but I can press these buttons here. And then I can adjust the heat. It also... It also attaches to your phone, and so you have an app to download, and you can literally dial up the heat and down, up and down on your phone. So uh, it's really cool like that. In addition, of course, there are other Machna products. So... For example, I've got the wires here uh, for the gloves, which I don't have. I, don't, I haven't got them yet. Maybe, maybe I should invest in a pair of those. If any of the, anybody watching has got some of those gloves, then let me know. Uh, heated gloves. My son had a pair, gosh, it must be 10 years ago when he was riding his GS800. And uh, he, he swore by them. He said they were fantastic. Better actually in many ways than, than heated grips. Because heated grips, your hands still get cold on the top. So he was riding in all sorts of weathers. Um, down a university in Portsmouth and uh, he found heated gloves were fantastic so maybe I'll have to get a pair. I can't speak too highly enough about this jacket. The Magna jacket is absolutely fantastic. It transforms my riding and I don't think it looks that bad. You know it's a, it's, it's a nice looking jacket. You really don't need a lot of layers, don't need massive thick jumpers or anything like that. Just slip on your belt stuff on top and you can ride in comfort. Hey, What's not to like? Anyway, hope you liked the review. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Uh, if you've tried these before, maybe some years ago, maybe the technology's moved forward a bit. I don't know. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.